help this video we will see another option while asking the questions from user so as we are exploring the more options of creating the conversation node we have seen in the previous video how to uh, send a message with a different type of variations then we have seen the ask a question part also so in this video we will see example with ask with adaptive card and how i'm going to do is i will take one scenario the scenario is i will use this node conversation node ask with adaptive card in the adaptive card i will have some fields like first name last name email and mobile and using the data of those fields entered i will create the new record of contact in my dataverse table so this is the my model driven app where i have the contact table and if i open one of the form you will see we have first name last name email and mobile so i want some minimum details to be filled and create the new contact record so when i submit the form from the adaptive card here then i want to create that record so that is the objective using that conversation node we'll create it so to do that what i'm going to do i'm going to create the new topic for that so i'll go to my topic list and create the new topic here i will use the copilot uh, uh, and with the description so that the phrases for my topic it will be automatically created so i'm going to give this name create create a contact in dataverse this is my topic name and i'm going to give some here details like uh, ask user to provide a first name last name email and mobile to submit the form and we'll create so now you can see uh, it has created the topic for me and it has added some phrases which is relevant for creating the contact in dataverse and they have added the other action node here but i will delete it i do not need because i want to use adaptive card here so i'll delete that it has used the identify uh, which is i uh, have seen in the previous video how to use it but in this video since our target is to use this uh, option to ask with the adaptive card to submit the form so i'll select it so when you select it will see it will ask to design the adaptive card so we'll go to the designer of the adaptive card site here so it has opened now i will create the new card so i will take the blank card here so i will design the new blank card so here in the blank card so what i want first i want the text block so that it describes the what field it is so i'll just name first name and if you want to set the idea we can set it like example this is the label so we can mention label first name and it's other things if you want to do you can design it uh, since i'm this is very simple one so just keeping it as it is with the very minimum details then we, if uh, for the first name we have to capture the value right so for that we'll have the text input so i'll just put the text input here and uh, the id of this one i can keep text first name and uh, th there's no need to provide labels since we uh, have given the another text which is a text block to provide the name here so that is the no need to provide here and then placeholder we can change here uh, enter your first name like that okay done so next text block text block i'll take for the last name so uh, i'll just change this to last name and id label last name that's all and then add the another input text which is for uh, last name input text so it is txt last name this is my id we need to keep id because uh, why i'm adding id here is because when you use this adaptive card into your uh, copilot automatically you will see it will uh, store it will get the uh, variable uh, that uh, that in that variable whatever the value you will enter it will be stored into that variable so that that variable we can pass to the uh, power automate flow to create the new record 
that is why I'm giving this name here, the ID here, the ID value here. And then here it will be enter uh, your last name. Then we have the email. So text block, this will be email. And input for this. This will be TX text email. Enter your email. And here style you can change. Uh, when, you, when you input the text input type, right? You have a different type of a style, the text, telephone, URL, email, or password. So usually when you design the different type of text field, we used to have that one, right? So we I've been just selecting as email for this part, okay? then we'll go for the another a text block that is mobile mobile okay and then input for that enter your mobile so it is done now we have to add the accent set so i'm just going to add the accent set accent set is like i want to what are the accents you want to like when user has added these fields uh, user has entered the value into this field so we want to submit that form right so we can have the accent like open the url submit so card toggle visibility or skewer something like that so this will be my submit form so i'll select it then here you can add the different type of a styling if you and all if you want to apply you can do that here I'm going to make this set as a positive so that the blue color will come here and the label of this one I'm going to change like submit here. Okay, and ID we can keep it uh, button uh, submit contact. Okay, like that. So it is done. So uh, now you can see the thing is uh, my adaptive card is designed. So I'll take the body part from here. So this copy the body portion from here till action. This is the action side and this is closing here, right? So this is the body start and this is the end. So we'll copy here and paste. So we'll copy this part, we'll go to the our topic here and this body part we will replace with the body what we have designed from the adaptive card. So now you can see it has been designed. So here uh, we, it will we, it will ask the user to enter these values and then the value what we have entered it will create the variable here and inside the variable it will store it so uh, if you see these variables so now if let me collapse this close this and now here if you see this variable uh, it is storing the action submit id the email a text id these variables will be stored here and uh, when the input will be received to that so now these variables we can use uh, to create the record in the power automate uh, using the power automate flow into the dataverse so for that i have the another option here call and act uh, call and action here we can have the different type of things to design so we can create the new power, auto, uh, power automate flow and we can pass it so we are now you can see we are using the another act, another option here to create the another flow and inside this flow we will pass these parameters okay so here i am designing the flow but before that let me save this so that i'm i will not uh, lose my configuration here then here in this flow uh, you can see the trigger of this flow is run uh, run from the copilot it will be running from the copilot and here we can have the input parameters configured here so i'll just add the four those input parameters that is the first name then last name email email and then here i will add mobile okay now using these input parameters i will connect to dataverse here so add action i will connect to dataverse 
I have since uh, I have already uh, made the uh, sign in first time, so it is uh, it will load the, like this. But if you are first time you are trying, then you need to sign in with your login account, and then otherwise you need to use the Princess Service account to uh, make the connection of the database. So once it is added, then use this control add new row, and here. We have to choose the table what we want to create so of the record. So I will choose the contact table here. So this is my contact table. Now uh, the the fields on the contact table will be loaded. So I need to set the field values and these are my dynamic uh, values. So I will be taking from the this is the last name column. So I'll take the last name and just add it. So last name input parameter which will be passed to this flow. It will be mapped to this field. Then we are having the uh, first name here below. So in the first name, we have the dynamic parameter here, dynamic content, and then this we have the first name as a input uh, option, input argument here, input uh, parameter here. So we have mapped here. Then we have mobile phone here. We will take the mobile phone as a input. Then we have email, so that also will add as an email here. So done. So mapping we have done. So it is created. So add new row as a contact. If you want to uh, change this name, so add new row of contact. Okay. Next is uh, when the contact is created, then I need to notify the copilot here, right? That your contact has been created. So what I will do in the respond, I will add the new parameter called the contact ID. So in the response, I will return the contact ID to the copilot. So here I have added the new parameter. I'll go to the value and response with what. So I'll take this one and dynamic content. And here I will search the contact. The contact which just now we have added will add the GUID of that unique identifier of that one. So it will return the contact ID of that. So now we have simply designed the flow, one simple flow. Now, now we have understood what is the purpose of this one. It will, when it will run, it will have the four parameters. Those four parameters we are mapping to adding the new contact on the first name, last name, email, and mobile. Once the contact is created, it will return the contact ID to the copilot. So it is, I have saved it. Now I will publish it. Once it is published, this flow will be available for me to use in my copilot. So I okay. One more thing I didn't do is I didn't change the name here. So of this flow, so I'll change it. So it is uh, create uh, contact in dataverse. So this is my flow name. So I'll just uh, save this again and publish again. Saved, publish. Publish done. So now I'll go come to my uh, co copilot here, and then uh, here I will go to the action, call an action, and I need to reload this again so that the flow which I have created it will be coming to my list here. So I'm just reloading my copilot designer again. So it might take few seconds to load. Okay, so we are in my topic, create a contact in Dataverse. Okay. Here, add action. And now you can see, create a contact in Dataverse. That flow is coming to me here in the option. So I'll select it. So when you select, since this flow is asking those four parameters, we need to map it. So those four variables are already stored here, right? When we are when we have designed the adaptive card as ask with the adaptive card, right? So here those variables will pass as a dynamic parameter here. So here this is the first name. So the first name is the uh, variable name. So we'll use it. This is the last name input parameters. So we'll use the last name, then string, the email that email string here, and then the mobile number. So we'll add the mobile here. So once it is done, it is mapped. Now in the response, we are getting the contact ID. You can see here, but this contact ID we have to respond to uh, here, right? To the user who has submitted it. So what we'll do? We'll use this option, send a message. We'll we'll send the message to user that your contact has been created. Your contact has been created with ID, and now here we can pass the 
insert the variable and this variable will be the contact id that's all so in uh, we can design these messages like with the url or something like that we can frame it and we can insert the url so that the, when the user will click it they can open the direct record of the contact like this i have like we can open this record right so it will have the entire url of the environment then app id then type of entity and then uh record id of that particular entity type so it will frame the url and that url can be opened from here we can provide the link we can design it so something like that so this is sim very simple i wanted to show you how to use the in ask input with the adaptive card that design so my topic design has been completed i'm going to save it and then we'll test it so it has been saved i will reload the test copilot here okay it has been reloaded i'll ask one of the phrase question related to here so i want to add a contact in dataverse so it has triggered my uh, topic here and now it is asking me those things to be filled so i'll just put the name as rohit sharma email test rohit at test.com and mobile number something anything i'm giving here and submit so once you submit wait for a few seconds you will see this has been triggered this has been triggered and it will create the contact and now it has been triggered so contact has been created with this id if you go to the flow now and go to back and the list of flow you will see this flow has been run here so it has given the it has added the new contact and it has created so if you go to my contact list here this is my contact list and we'll see if the contact has yeah this contact has been created so like this you can use the uh, ask with adaptive card and you can use into the different scenario whenever you want to right based on your requirement so i hope this video was useful to you guys and thank you for watching this video